always awesome when I can get in the van, take off my face mask and just go, <sighs> Alrighty, now that I'm pulled into the marina and I picked the marina for a reason, usually I have a fairly weak signal around here. So it's a good way to kind of judge if this thing works. Sorry about the, uh, the steering wheel being in the shot. It's just because of where I'm sitting. And this is the best way to clip on the phone while I open this up. If I can figure out how to open it up. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> so, it's a it's a white box that was made in China. <laughs> it's a white box. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oops, push my own uh, thing there. Alrighty, cool. <laughs> now I got it open. That's the only thing about opening things. Well, you never know if the box is going to be like, this is what it is or not. User's manual for undisclosed item. So I might as well just tell you guys. It's basically a cell booster kit by Anycall, um, which I got off Amazon. Pack package contents. There you go. You see them all? I don't know. Um... I went back and forth on needing one, but there are situations where when I'm outside of the van, I'm getting signal, but when I'm inside of the van, I'm not. And that's what this takes care of. If you've seen those signal boosters with like, you know, the big white antennas and usually you're supposed to like point it to where, you know, signal is coming from. Like those are, are for like deep, deep rural areas. Those are a little more expensive and really getting a good one is expensive. I just wanted something to cover those weird times where, you know, there's a little bit of signal and if I could just get a little bit of a boost, it could be a little bit better. Um, the real test will be at Emily's house because I get no signal there. So it basically has an indoor antenna, which is here. It is made for a car, by the way. But it basically has an indoor antenna, which is here. Um, this is the signal booster box thing. As I said, it's by any call, so we'll find out how good that is. Oh, good, it's marked outside, inside, and this is the outside antenna. This is a magnetic, magnetic base that goes on top of the car. Um, this is the cable, and this is the antenna that goes outside. So as you can see, it's very small. Um, but hopefully it will help me in those awkward situations where the only reason I don't have signal is because like elements in the van are blocking it because ideally this is on the outside this is coming into the car and hopefully it'll make things a little bit better in rural areas like I said it's not as good as those big antennas you set up on the um the white stand and everything and so the outside antenna would connect to this through the outside. It would go to the inside antenna and then the inside antenna provides a signal inside the car that the devices should be able to pick up on. You have to be really careful with these and sometimes people expect these things to do magic. If it can't find a tower, it's not gonna help you with your signal. So there's only so much these things can do, which kind of sucks because a lot of them are really expensive. This one wasn't too bad. Um, and it seemed to be able to fit into a van as well. It wasn't, they have signal boosters for houses as well because people in houses in rural areas definitely still need signal boosters. Um, people in RVs have different types of setups. They have more, house things so there's ones that are designed for rvs this one was in the category of good for cars um mostly because it's a very simple system with very small antennas as you can see the image is of a car and not a house or an rv or even a truck so it fits a little bit better by the way that one's not in english into a a minivan situation why am i in dutch I, I don't know how to speak dutch why am i in dutch uh, so we're gonna set this up um, before bedtime hopefully because it's already 4 30 all right so it is installed I will do my best to walk you through I didn't record a lot of it because it as usual it turned out I needed to be in a lot of awkward positions just doing things and so it was really hard to record it while I was doing it so I'm just going to show you as much as I can 
So up here, just, I didn't know that giant scratch was there. Woo, camera. Um, so up here, just under the base, under the side of sort of my sidebars here, is the base of the exterior ante antenna. As you come up, as you can see, I have it positioned between the solar panel and the bar. Um, and it was an interesting little squeeze because I had to put that base in. Oh my gosh, I might have scratched it trying to get it into position. And then I took the top antenna and just screwed it in over the top because it wasn't fitting there any other way. And the rear antenna needs to be as far from the, uh, the interior antenna as possible. Ah, my garage. It's such a complicated thing. Um, so right now, I temporarily have the power plugged into this. Eventually, I'm going to run a 12-volt line that goes to the uh, solar system, but I haven't done that yet, so I just put the power here. And this is also temporary to see if it worked because I didn't want to pull apart the solar system if I didn't have to and if it wasn't going to work. So I just plugged in the 12-volt power here, and that actually goes to this thing, which is a converter, basically. Interesting that light isn't on. Or maybe I just can't see it in... A oh, light is on, you just can't see it in the sunlight. And that is actually plugged into... God, where did I plug it? Right here, in the back of the, the two, 250 Max Oak. So I have it plugged into the back of here, which is dumb because I'm basically converting to get to 12 volt power. But like I said, later on I'll hook it to my solar system. I just wanted to make sure it worked. So I plugged this into here. It goes into this. And that gives me 12 volt power temporarily for the booster inside of the van. Eventually I'll properly wire this, but this will get me through for now. So it's really hard to show these cramped spaces, but up against the cabinet right here is my CO2 detector. This is just a cord that I can't get out of the way right now. But as you come on down, there is the cell booster. It's upside down so that the button faces outward where I can toggle it, um, basically. So it's upside down, but everything is lit up. And honestly, as soon as I turn this thing on, all of the bars on my cell phone and my tablet go up. So the cable for the indoor antenna, it runs from here all the way up across past my picture of Lin-Manuel there. If you don't know, he's the guy who wrote Hamilton and he was Hamilton in the original production. And it goes across here. It goes behind the flag the Hogwarts flag on my ceiling past the unicorns and stuff and then it sneaks out here and the interior antenna is here all right guys I have turned the signal booster off just so I can demo let's see if we can actually zoom in um, right now AT&T which is on my tablet is looking pretty good we basically have almost full bars I usually get a really bad signal here, so this is surprising me. Let me pull up my phone so you can see it. Alright, so if you can see the top of my phone, which you can't. Let's see if we can get it nice and clear. And then the phone decides to cut off. This is so not fun. The, t the tablet has gone to full bars, so AT&T is now at full bars. Now mind you, if there's no signal, there's nothing the cell booster can do. And, you know, there's only so much that little antenna is going to do, you know, in comparison to those larger antennas that you can really send up into the air. But if there's no signal, it can't do anything, but it can take the signal and boost it. And I do have more bars on AT&T. This one's a little harder. Because the phone screen doesn't like to behave. But again, I've now gone. There it goes, timing out again. I've now gone to full bars on the cell phone. So again, this cell booster definitely works. 